Hey everybody, Stephanie with the Machine Gun Nest here with our newest legal update. So I'm here with good news for all you young folks between the ages of 18 and 20 that a federal judge in West Virginia has just ruled that it is unconstitutional to forbid you from purchasing a handgun. So two young guys, Stephen Robert Brown and Benjamin Weekly, decided to take up the DOJ and say, hey, listen, what you're doing is unconstitutional. The Department of Justice responded and basically said, well, it's not causing any injury to you guys because your mom and dad can go out and buy you this gun and therefore give it to you. But U.S. District Judge Thomas Klee wasn't having it. In fact, he just came out and said, guys, listen, essentially a right delayed is a right denied. Let me read you a little bit of what he said. He said the government's suggestion erroneously draws too large a distinction between the right to possess and the right to purchase a firearm. Although the Second Amendment does not expressly protect the right to purchase firearms, the right must exist by implication if the right to keep and bear arms is to have its full meaning and effect. Common sense and logic tells us that unless one is a maker of guns, the right to keep slash have a gun necessarily means that one must purchase it, steal it, or be given it by another, or find one that another has lost. That was so well said. Essentially, he's saying, listen, just because you can somehow maybe acquire one when you're below the age of 21 doesn't mean that you should be forbidden from purchasing. Now this is fascinating because here we're just coming off the heels of the HQL requirement in Maryland being struck down. The HQL was a handgun qualification license that necessitated that you not only be 21, but go through uh, training, fingerprints, extra background check, uh, uh, this class, and then have essentially what amounted to a 30 day wait period before you could take your firearm home. Uh, and then that's, there's a seven day wait period on top of that as well from when you can actually take your firearm home. So all of these things are being struck down and it's really, really, really encouraging. But what is discouraging to me and quite frankly terrifying is that we have again, a large government entity, the Department of Justice here, instead of saying, hey, you know what? Let's talk about this. Let's, let's pursue truth. Let's be based in integrity here and do what we need to do to uphold the constitution. But instead we have a Department of Justice that is so bent on upholding an agenda that they're trying to fight tooth and nail to prevent you from living and accessing your God-given right to bear arms. The DOJ was so desperate that they threw out so many just bogus and ridiculous arguments to try to prevent these young people from owning a firearm. Uh, and that's, that's what's scary to me. We have the ATF doing the exact same thing. We have these organizations that are not interested in truth. They're not interested in a good, good sit down to see what the constitution does uh, allow for in our country, but instead they wanna fight and they are bent on uh, restricting you. It's, it's pure tyranny at large and honestly, Maranatha. Uh, we're going to keep you updated on this. The next step is seeing how this is actually walked out and implemented on a federal level. But stay plugged in and we'll keep you updated as soon as we hear anything. And we'll see you at the range.